Ladies and gentlemen, you know, one thing that's very, very clear is we have a deep culture in teaching of racists and pedophiles is rampant in teaching. And you cannot expect people that have a lot of biases to all of a sudden when you go to work, those biases disappear. They don't, they are still there. And in my opinion, they're more amplified because in many cases, these teachers are also covert. Now, there are a few that just come out and they're just blatant, but the vast majority are covert. There's a reason why they will not get this high number of white female teachers out of our community. They will not let them out of the community because how do you sabotage a people? They have to be present in order for the community to be sabotaged. If you remove them from the community and you let the people that look more like the community come in and teach, then we would have long caught up and passed these people. See, there's a reason why they keep locking out the people that have teaching degrees that live in the community and want to teach in the community. I know several black teachers here at where I live. None of them, none, none, zero teach within the community that they live in. None of them. If I took you to the elementary school, you'll see a high number of black and brown students and you'll see some white students sprinkled in there too. But when you look at the the teachers, it's very to little, no diversity. It is predominantly white teachers. And that should not be the case, y'all. The teachers, your cops, all of that should reflect the community that the people live in. It doesn't. You know, it's all about dominating and control and keeping an oppression on a group of people. You can't do it unless you flood yourself in every single industry, especially teaching when it's really crucial at a time when minds are being molded. Ladies and gentlemen, when I saw this, let me tell you, it's not the first time we have seen teachers with nooses and the sad part is it won't be the last time. This has happened many times before. Now, these four smiling teachers, they posed with a noose. I don't even know why they keep doing this. You know, as soon as these photos leak out, there's going to be consequences. But these folks are so ingrained in their racism, they can't stop. They're like the damn Energizer Bunny when it comes down to that. They just keep going and going and going. And there's all kinds of people losing jobs and, you know, you see the consequences, but they keep going and going and going like the damn Energizer Bunny with their racism. And it just doesn't end. I was reading an article and someone was saying they were hoping America would outgrow their racism, and they're disappointed that it never happened. The reason why it never happened is because these folks teach racism like they are passing down money through the family, okay? They come out of the womb teaching it to their babies. Now, the problem is they're having a harder and harder time upholding what's taught because see what's run, what they're doing is they're running into smart black people when they were told none of us are smart they are running uh across black people that are way more athletically inclined than they are 
they are running into Black people that are outperforming them on jobs. So they have to sabotage you on jobs. See, they were never prepared for that. They were given the old stereotype teaching. They're all the same. They're all stupid. They're not human and so on and so forth. And when they come out in the real world, they're not finding all of us that way. So if you were never taught anything else, then what is left when you come across these exceptional Black people? Sabotage them, lie on them, destroy their character, try to make people not like them. That's all they got in their bag of tricks, y'all. They don't have nothing else, is to try to destroy your character. And they'll try to put things on you that they are actually doing. So my heart goes out to our children because this does not just stop in the faculty room. This goes way beyond. And I used to see it. You know, when I was in school, I saw the clear differences in how the white teacher would treat white students and how different they were with black students. And I noticed it all throughout the years. By the time I got in junior high school, when I saw that kind of stuff, I didn't even respect these teachers anymore. And to me, the reason why, because it was clear at that age, I could see race mattered more than teaching. Race mattered more than everything. And it was very clear. So by the time I graduated, I probably can count on my one hand the few teachers that I did like, all the rest of them I didn't like at all. And that's a shame when you go through K through 12 and you can hardly think of many teachers that you liked. You might like one or two. It might be maybe even three or four. But most of the people in our community, there's not a lot of teachers that we liked, especially if you went through public school. You know, only if I had the knowledge I do now back then, oh, I, things would have been a lot different for me. You know, I probably would have been less tolerant and would have requested to be taken out of these schools. So ladies and gentlemen, as long as you keep packing up your children and hauling them off to these schools, they're going to have to endure the abuses that goes along with that decision. And it's not just physically because we have seen our children get body slammed and harmed not only by students and teachers and these resource officers, which I don't agree, which are in the school because they have that same bias that police officers on the street have. You just target and look at black students all the time. And our students are dealing with a lot. Our children, they really are, okay? Now you got these covert teachers holding up nooses in faculty rooms. And now they're going to put that noose down after smiling all around it and holding it up and go back before your child to teach them. Do you really want that? Look at these teachers. Do you really want them in front of your child teaching? I sure wouldn't. I wouldn't. Okay, so four smiling teachers pose with a noose now. They're on leave along with the principal. Ladies and gentlemen, this is schooling in America. And it's not going to go away unless you make it go away by finding alternatives for your child. If you just can't homeschool and you really don't have the, you know, 
you just don't have anybody that can help you out. You know, there are ways you can research online to see if there's other groups in your area. Or what you can do is look for a more Afrocentric school with uh, that type of curriculum and teachers. Those schools are cropping up more and more in the country as an alternative. You know, I know <clears throat> it's difficult for some of you to just shift your kids somewhere else, but believe it or not, homeschooling is really not that hard. You teach your child the things that you want them to know, the things that are going to benefit them through life. You don't have to go by this white man and his curriculum. You don't have to teach any of that stuff. You can teach the stuff that matters the most. And as far as Black history, we know the public schools are lacking in it. You can teach all the Black history you want to your child if you homeschool. You don't have to teach any of their history at all. It's not that it benefits any Black child anyway, you know, but that is how you break the cycle of this indoctrination system that's trying to get our students to accept white supremacy. And we are the only ones that can break the cycle. These teachers and these schools out you know, they're not going to change. I think after all of these decades of seeing this, you should know they're, they're not going to change. I wouldn't hold my breath waiting around for it to happen. So separation is really the only answer. This came out in LA Times, May 10th, 2019. So the photo shows four teachers smiling, holding a noose, and was shared online. And we know once something goes out online like that, it's there forever. Those teachers couldn't get rid of that picture now <laughs> if they wanted to. It's there. And some parents did learn about it. And of course, they got quite upset and they protested to, uh, you know, about what happened at school. And they went to the superintendent. Uh, whose name is uh, Raul Monaldo. Um, I am committed to Palmdale promise, values, equity, integrity, and multiculturalism. And I know that most of the district believe in the same. So he's just given that same garbage speech. You know, they always say they don't have those values. They don't believe, they believe in diversity and blah, blah, blah. But yet these things keep happening over and over, ladies and gentlemen. It, it doesn't matter if those are your, are your values and you keep hiring a bunch of racists. So it, it what difference does it make if that's not your values or you don't agree with what these teachers did and you th your company stands on diversity it doesn't matter if you keep hiring droves and droves and droves of races that's where you keep failing so when you give these hollow ass uh speeches and apologies for what happened it means nothing it means nothing so ladies and gentlemen, there was an outcry, of course, from the parents and other people in the community that discovered the photo. And um, it's just one person here, Basin Clemens, a parent at the school, told the Antelope Valley Press that she kept her 10-year-old daughter home from school afterwards. So she doesn't even want to send her child back there. And I don't blame any parent for making that decision. And you can see there's some tweets. Molin Beck, this came out on May 9th, 2019. Some parents at Summer Wynn Elementary School in Palmdale have pulled out their students in response to a photo of teachers holding a noose. Good for them. I just hope they're smart enough not to send them back. It's counterproductive for you to pull them out and then turn around and send them back. So hopefully don't send them back. Put your child in a better environment. 
Ladies and gentlemen, our children are putting up with a lot of racism in school and they're aware of it. You'd be shocked at what they will tell you if you talk to them. My son has told me things that I was really shocked. You know, some of the things he told me when he got a little older, he didn't tell me at the time it happened because he knows how I go off. So, you know, even he saw it and told me many things and, you know, all I can say is I'm glad that more and more black parents are waking up <clears throat> and realizing this educational institution where they have their children is just not the appropriate place for them. And <clears throat> if you pull your child out, then the indoctrination is over. They can't indoctrinate your child anymore. You got to understand they can only do these things if they have access to your children. If they don't have access to them, they can't do this. All of that superiority and trying to make your children feel like they're less than, all of that is over. It's gone. So the parents are saying we are disgusted, absolutely disgusted, Clemens said. We drop our kids off with the idea that they, you know, they're sending them to a culturally competent institution for learning. We think that we're sending them to a school. They're safe. Never do we think we're sending them to a plantation where they got nooses hanging up and holding on to nooses, taking pictures and smiling. Where's the humor? Exactly. There has been a dramatic increase in hate incidents in grades K through 12 across the country, said Cindy Silverman, Anti-Defamation League Director for Santa Barbara and Tri-County Regions. Exactly. And it's going to keep increasing, y'all. I don't know what it's going to take for some of you to get the picture and get your children out. I guess a black child is going to have to die at school before some of you will wake up. And now you got Florida that have just approved teachers being armed. I don't know about you. Look at what's happening in these schools without a gun. There's no gun president and look at what these teachers are like. No gun. And the harm is still being done to our children. You Do you want to arm teachers like this? Do you want these folks to be armed around your black child? I sure wouldn't want that. And you can best believe, ladies and gentlemen, Arming teachers is going to go beyond Florida. Florida is just the start of it. But I'm telling you right now, if you don't want your student in a class with teachers like this with guns, you better start thinking about what to do with them right now. The only thing that's going to happen is these uh, teachers are going to pull the same thing that you hear the cops doing. I feared for my life. They charged at me. They touched their waistband. I thought they were going to do something. I shot them in self-defense. Stand your ground. Okay. Stand your ground. Your That teacher was standing their ground against a 10-year-old child. You know, I mean, that's the kind of stuff that's going to happen once you arm these teachers. Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I can go on and on, but I, I got to end this. <laughs> Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.